Hello and welcome to my channel Quinta Entre Aguas. My name is Matthias, there is Ida and there is Simma. This week's video will be quite different because I won't be on my farm much longer. I am uh, heading to my mother in Germany. The car is already loaded, the dogs are ready to go. House is locked up, plants are watered. All I have to do is uh, jump in the car and drive away. I take you with me, at least the camera, and see if I can uh, show you a little bit of the trip, at least the places I have to charge. So if that's interesting for you, stay tuned. If not, hopefully you watch the next one. Later. First stop it at the Tesla supercharger in Guara. I uh, hope you can see that. No, you can't see that. Well, for my notes then, I uh, reset trip A on the road and I was about 40 kilometers too late. So it says 74 kilometers since last charging. That was from home. And trip A says now 35, so. 40. So whatever it is, I need to add 40 to trip A. And this is uh, a hotel. In Guada. Unfortunately, after the fact, I uh, thought I could have filmed the view of uh, Sierra Estrella when I come out of the tunnel towards Fundao, but uh, I only thought about it when it was over. So I hope I will be more attentive the next time I see something rememberable. All right, now I'm gonna go and charge. Later. Almost leaving Portugal and heading into Spain. Just a little bit. There it is. Leaving Portugal entering Spain just uh, 200 kilometers more to Tordesillas later from a dark car <laughs> I arrived in Tordesillas driven just above 300 kilometers a little bit more I think anyway uh, today after a work day, arrived in Spain and I'm gonna sleep here. <coughs> so I'll show you tomorrow. Later! Good morning. Car is fully charged. Dogs have had their walk and did their business. And this is the supercharger. And you can see a little bit of the hotel. It's quite a nice hotel. I had my coffee there. It was a little bit expensive compared to uh, Portugal. I paid two euros for a coffee. But anyway, I'm happy to pay it as long as I get a coffee. Um, yeah, we're heading off and uh, I try to show you some impressions from the trip and not just the charges. Okay, later. So these are the views of the countryside in Spain. And don't worry, I have autopilot. All right, later. A little bit further in Spain and this is how it looks like just 
Starting to get some hills. There are some fields in between that are green. And uh, yeah, that's Spain. Entering the Hotel Landa. And uh, what I want to show you while entering is um, there is a castle right behind the bushes that I was told in a previous visit the owner had, uh, you can see it there, the owner had it uh, dismantled where it originally was and I don't know where that is and transported it here brick by brick and I'll obviously rebuild it. So uh, yeah, this is a little bit of a narrow road. But we manage. And uh, yeah, this is the, the hotel parking lot. And uh, at the end there is the supercharger. So, according to the map in the car, there should be three of the six stalls be available for charging. And that's good because I only need one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Oh. I only need one, I said. Whoa. All right, need to park. I'm uh, walking to the hotel to show you a little bit more. Um, this is a little uh, courtyard or something like that. And this is uh, the castle. And uh, like I said, I was told it was uh, removed brick by brick and then uh, rebuilt here. Uh, don't know more or any historical uh, stories about it, but it's a it's a quite nice uh, castle, or at least piece of it. Because in my opinion, it's just a tower and a little bit of a bridge. Because all of this looks more modern. So I'll get another coffee and use the facilities, I guess you call it. All right, later. By the way, second stop in Spain, third stop on the trip. Later. Closing in on the Pyrenees, I think uh, that's the start. Not sure how it is, uh, turns out on the, on the camera, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get some hilly bits. Oh, and there, not sure you can see it. No, you can't see it. But uh, along, along the route, there are some serious hay bale stacks. Like 10 or 15 bales high. So really high. All right, I uh, continue driving. Closer now to these uh, mountains. Hopefully, it's uh, nice to see on the video. <laughs> Later. I'm not sure, but hopefully, you can see high mountains. That should be uh, the Pyrenees, because here are the Pyrenees. So I guess I uh, passed them on the left, between the Pyrenees and the Atlantic. But yeah, it's still a nice view and hopefully it, uh, it's viewable on the video. Later! In the middle of the mountains.
I just assume it's the Pyrenees. Later! The first view of the Atlantic. I hope you can see that. There's more Atlantic. This is now the real border crossing from Spain to France. I hope so. If not, I have to cut it. In editing! What's going on? So now I'm in France. There you see. We made it to our first stop in France. It's a town called Bayonne and it's uh, Hotel Lauriac or something like that. Uh, it's the fourth stop and I have, I think, six or seven more to go. We will see. So yeah, it's a nice blue sky as you can see, sunny, but only 23 degrees. So yeah, another stop later. On my way to Bordeaux, uh, left and right are these uh, pine forests. And yes, like in Portugal, they are also a fire risk and sometimes they have wildfires. I haven't seen any um, leftover or whatever you call it, uh, signs of a, a wildfire yet. But uh, I think a year or two ago, this area was really badly hit with a wildfire. So yeah, this is France. I arrived in Bordeaux, Biglish or something like that. It's uh, a big mall, supermarket kind of thing. And they have the old version 2 and the new version 4 chargers. Which not really makes a big difference for my car, since the max I can get is uh, 150 kilowatts, but still nice. All right, later. On the way to the next stop in saint Podou lotigier Maybe you can read it. And uh, the scenery has changed a little bit. It reminds me of my uh, area at home, just with a difference that uh, the sunflower thingies are grapevines. But uh, the forestry looks similar by uh, driving by. So, yeah, that's France. All right, later. We arrived at the station I can't pronounce and uh, it's very I think urban not sure if this is a hotel or restaurant or something I'll have a look in a minute did a walk with the dogs and going to feed them uh, soon right now okay later It is the next morning and as you can see it is misty something I haven't seen in quite a while and turns out 
this is a three star restaurant and hotel I had asked a room without breakfast would have been 80 euros a night so I did sleep in the car <laughs> later after the fog or mist or whatever in the morning I had a brief moment of blue skies but now it looks like um, I don't know either the the fog is coming back or maybe I drive into rain but yeah later and now a couple minutes later we have blue skies again no more fog or mist or whatever you call it later crossing a nice bridge hopefully At least the sun is out now. Later, another nice view on the road. Nothing planned. And yes, my windows are dirty. <laughs> yeah. I'm just hoping uh, you can get the images like I see them, but it's still a camera. So I keep doing this while driving later look at that many many nice views I arrived at my next stop and it's called in my bad French Arrêt du Bourbonnage or something like that I think I will put the name somewhere on the video because my French and Spanish pronunciation are not the best. This seems to be quite a big uh, gas station, uh, restaurant stop. They even have a couple of uh, those fast Ionity chargers. So uh, I'll see how clean their bathroom is and if I can get a coffee later. Another scenery impression from France. Not so bad, is it? I noticed the sunflower fields um, have been replaced by, I think, corn. And now I see a lot of cows left and right of the highway. So yeah, scenery is changing. That's what happens when you travel. Later. We have reached our next charger. It's in, oh my God, Viona. Let me spell it. B-E-A-U-N-E. In the north part of the city this is uh, Leclerc supermarket but strangely it's closed at 1 30 on a Saturday I don't know what's going on but yeah um, according to the car after this one I only need one more stop to charge to get to my mother's place but I will add an extra one um, the closest supercharger to my mother's place so I can charge there fully go to my mother and when I head back I do it in return and I don't have to charge in my mother's place so you know it or later
I'm not sure this comes over as it is for me. But yeah, scenery. My mother warned me about the rain and it started. At least this way my windshield will get cleaned. So yeah, it's downhill from here. Next week is supposed to be more wet and cold. So I try to get back as soon as possible. Later. I arrived at the supercharger in Mulhouse. Uh, like I said before, it's rainy. And this is another hotel. Kiryat Prestige, something like that. For those of you that don't drive Tesla and are not used to this, but the superchargers very often, in my experience, are at uh, hotels. Places like this. And it looks like this used to be a Golden Tulip Hotel. New owner. <laughs> All right. I've done 1,800 kilometers, more or less and I have 200 more to go. I could drive from here to my mother's place, but like I said before, I'm gonna stop at the last supercharger before my mother to charge the car full and arrive with, with as much energy as possible. So stay tuned, later. I'm on the, my way to the last stop and I should be crossing over from France to Germany shortly. And uh, if I turned right, I would enter Swiss, Switzerland, I think. But uh, yeah, I'll try to catch the moment. Give me a second. Here's something I don't miss. Traffic jams. There was uh, a burning car on the uh, emergency stroke on the, on the highway and shortly after an accident so everybody is trying to avoid that and this um, all the side roads are packed with cars that are all going in the same direction and that on a Sunday evening at 7 p.m. anyway a little bit more and I reach the last charger before I arrive at my mother's place later. I arrived at the last charger for today and this trip. It's the Tesla supercharger in Karlsruhe. So I'm gonna fill the car up and then uh, I have another half hour maybe drive to my mother. All right, later. We are heading back. I reset the second trip counter so I know exactly how many, how many kilometers it is. And as you see behind me, we are now in my hometown and we have a lot of grape wines. And they start with the harvesting with the machines. And uh, you see a little bit of mountains in there, over there. So yeah, this is where I grew up. And I'm currently at a spot where I usually came by car to walk the dogs. So that's what we just did. And now uh, we're gonna head back to Quinta Entre Aguas. So let's see what the car thinks. How many stops it's gonna be. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, nine. nine times charging. We'll see about that. And I don't think it's correct because it tells me the first stop will be Mulhouse and I will arrive with minus one. So probably not. All right, later. Another drive by a few of all those grapevines. Hopefully, you get the idea. So 
So yeah. I am approaching once again the German-French border and there is a kind of a control on the other direction, so coming from France to Germany. Um, this time I have the camera ready and there is the road sign, France. All right, I am in France now going to be for today and tomorrow I guess with a little luck I will be crossing over to Spain at the end of the day tomorrow we'll see about that so later I arrived at the Tesla supercharger in Strasbourg Strasbourg whatever so yeah first stop on the way back we arrived at the uh, Tesla supercharger in Besançon. I put the name up because my pronunciation is not that good. And uh, this supercharger is uh, at a hotel, Arcom or something like that. It doesn't say, it's only that it's a Tesla supercharger. Um, yeah, yeah, can't I can't read it, but uh, the toilets are nice and clean, and uh, I can get the coffee in the morning, so that's always nice. All right, gonna sleep here tonight and uh, continue my trip in the morning when it's light again, because I do not like driving in the dark anymore so if I don't have to I don't later we are on the first stop this morning good morning by the way it's the next day obviously and uh, we are back at uh, Are de Bourbonnais or Bourbonnais again I put it up there so uh, yeah hopefully i will sleep in spain tonight we'll see about that temperatures are a little bit dropped it's only 14 degrees as you can see it's cloudy it has rained on and off so yeah can't wait to get back to portugal to the sunny side of life later And on this side, only clouds. Too bad I have a bus in front of me, but nothing I can do. Once again, I overtook the bus. Hopefully I can get a few of the right side. It doesn't look like it. Third time is a charm. <laughs> Looks like really low hanging clouds. Low hanging clouds or rain. Next stop reached, <clears throat> it's Saint-Pedou Lotigier. If I said it correct. And I, <clears throat> and I reached it with only 6% left. So this was a close one. <laughs> and we are back at Beagles. Beagles, that uh, big shopping mall. And that's how they spell it. Yeah, 
Unfortunately, this is not a, a good spot to feed the dogs and it's a little bit raining. So I hope, let me show you this one, but it says reduced service, eight stalls available. So we're going to check out that one a bit later and uh, giving the f dogs what to eat. So later. We arrived at La Bohea and uh, during the trip the charger came online so I guess they did some sort of maintenance not sure but uh, seemed to work oh I need the adapter so yeah I'm gonna feed the dogs walk them and then continue later we made it to Hernani uh, looks like a new version 4 Tesla supercharger and uh, the last 30 kilometers were really difficult it was raining hard harder than my wind uh, windshield wipers could handle so I was very slow I'm not gonna go any further and I have no idea how it looks here around here but yeah that's where my journey ends today and I show you more tomorrow good night Good morning, as I said in my last video, uh, my last clip, I am in Hanani and uh, this is Tesla Supercharger and this is the fuel from here. Unfortunately, it's a rainy day <coughs> and uh, low hanging clouds or rain. So yeah, off we go for the last 600 something kilometers to my home. Later. We arrived at the Tesla Supercharger in Riva Berosa. Again, I try to put the name up. Um, I choose this place not because I had to, but because there is some green fields close by so that Ida doesn't have to walk too far because I'm not sure I told you this before but uh, I think uh, Ida has reached the end of her life she's refused to eat for two days now and she has really trouble to walk and uh, Simba had uh, diarrhea for the last two days so all in all not such a happy camper at the moment but yeah such is life we continue our trip later really low clouds almost mystical we arrived at the last stop in Spain another supercharger at uh, Leclerc supermarket and um, it's the last one in Spain and also the last one on my trip home because from here it's just 230 kilometers to my uh, farm and I can do that on one charge so the next time you see me will be at home later almost in Portugal and as you could have seen in Salamanca the sky is blue again, the temperature is right now 27 degrees Celsius so it's good, uh, good weather, that's why I moved to Portugal among other reasons and um, yeah um, I am about to enter Portugal from Spain there is the sign I hope you can see it Portugal! <laughs> this is the view when you come out of the tunnel at Guarda. I will also try to show you the view around Fundão, which I forgot on my way up. Look at that. Somebody.
that is building uh, Dutch windmills. I don't know why, but that's what they do. Uh, let's see. This should be the Sierra Estrella. Which is the highest mountain of on mainland Portugal. I like it. So that's it from the driving. Next time you see me is on my farm. Later. We just arrived back home. Ida, Simba, and me and the car. Um, yeah, that was a week. Uh, I did more than 4,000 kilometers in like under 96 hours including sleeping in the car four times um, yeah I hope the video I am going to edit right after this will give you an impression of a little bit what I saw I did notice I have over 60 clips on the camera never had that much in a week so um, it's going to be interesting if the footage actually shows what I intended to. But uh, in any case, thank you for watching this long because I think it's going to be a long video. Um, yeah, if you have any comments, uh, advice, put it in the comments. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you watch more than one of my videos, please click subscribe. It doesn't cost anything and it helps the channel. And recently I learned there is a notification bell. Click that one too. So you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. And that's it for this week. Stay healthy, stay happy and have a good life. And a nice weekend if I didn't say that already. I'm a little bit done as you can imagine. So, thanks, and I hope you're gonna watch my next one as well. Bye.